Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome back to Let's Play Ham Taro Rainbow Rescue. Today we are going to go to Sparkle Coast. So that we can start continuing with the full completion of the game. So, let's see, you have anything to say? Um, apparently he's still in shell shock from that, whatever that thing was with the waves going on. Alright, nothing new over here. So, yeah, some things have changed. Um, for example, there's this girl over here. If you talk to her while you have boss in your party, well, wait for it. Collecting seashells, but her equipment is broken. Now, if you do not have boss in your party, she will comment on someone having a shovel. And, yeah, so, boss always carries a shovel, and she says we can keep whatever we dig up. So, basically, choose a spot, then dig. You don't have, there's not necessarily any right spot to dig, you just dig. And you can do this as many times as you want. So, let's talk to her again. Sure, why not? Hmm. So, yeah, I'm looking for a certain something, but, well, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Apparently we can find carrots here too, go figure. So, to pass the time, let me tell you a story of something that occurred to me in real life. Um, a few days ago, I actually ran into someone from my childhood, and, um, we were talking about some of the old days of our childhood, like, where we used to go to the same private school, and finding Sparkle Coast flyers. Uh, but no, no, we found, this is where you get this flyer. I don't think there's anything else you can get here, but, well, I'll check later. But, yeah, um, well, you know what, I'll save that story a little bit, because here we have, a uh, Broski. And we can invite him. There are no prerequisites to inviting him, but if you have a female character in your party, you can get some uh, <laughs> funny extra dialogue. Yeah. So there you go. We invited Broski, and we can move on to the next uh, person in line. So we also have a rainbow over here, nothing we can do right now. But yeah, I ran into this guy, we were talking about how at private school, uh, there used to be these kids who would, uh, harass me. I was literally bullied while I was in private school, elementary and whatnot. And what it is, is that, um, basically, we were talking about how, how big of an asshole they all were, because they were, like, you know, beating me up, well, not beating me up, but they were really harassing me. But, I felt like a true asshole, because... I forgot his name. Seriously, I, I recognized the guy's face, but for the life of me, I could not remember at all who this guy from my past was. Yeah, you can imagine I felt pretty terrible, and he looked really hurt when he actually realized the same thing, that I did not rem remember him, so, yeah. I feel pretty bad about that. Still can't go down there. And there's a gate to the, uh, rainbow, uh, train, um, which goes into the water, of course. It goes right into the sea. It's an underwater station. There you go. But since we have the fishing rod, we can go fishing in the ocean. So, there you go. And let's do it. So, controls are the same. Press the A button when you get something, and tap B immediately afterwards and you'll catch something. Now, the selection of uh, things you can catch here is different. The list for uh, the trade-in is not quite... Well, it's about the same, it's just you have different items. So, there you go. Let's see if I can actually catch a fish, though. Aside from just garbage. Reeled in. Okay, a piece of coral. Okay, come on. Land a big one. Land the big one. Now, if you tap the A button and you are a little bit too slow, like, I mean, like, the moment you press the A button, it almost gets away. Um, that's very likely you got a fish of some kind. So, let's see, we get a ring, boot, oh, 
a ring, a can, and coral. So, I don't think there's any special stickers you can get out of that, but, well, I don't know, and... What the... What did he do to those octopi? Octopi. It's, uh... Okay... He's looking for another giant canvas. That scares me. Uh, yeah, relaxing. Um, Salia, huh? Well, as you can imagine, Salia is another special character who apparently sleeps almost as much as Snoozer. So, there are no prerequisites to recruiting her, for sure. And, you know, since we're here, let's check out the shop. Since we now have the, uh, Oh, what is it? Yeah, the flyer. So let's see what she has in store for us now. Uh, stickers. All right, she didn't have any stickers to begin with. We've got more mats. I think these are the last of the mats, but I can't be sure. For sure, these are almost the last of the items. For sure, this is like I th I'm pretty sure this is the last of the inventory. In fact, I'm pretty confident this is it. And once we buy all these, we're pretty much done with the shops for good. And there you go. Way more sunflower seeds than it needed. I really did not even, even grind for seeds, so well, there you go. Alright, so we got some rocks here. Let's break them and get to that sticker that has uh, taunted us for so long. And get us a, a nice little small sticker for it as well. And we get... Oh, that's not a very impressive sticker at all. Uh, it's probably important somehow. So, let's go through the pipes again. So, what's going on? He's right there, okay. Now, we can, uh... Now that we have more hamsters, we can go down here to find another sticker. Is it a good sticker? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a, definitely a level 5. And everybody started cheering while they were still hanging there. You know, I would almost think everyone would suddenly plummet if that happened in real life. They'd be like, yay! Ah! But yeah, let's turn off this switch now so we can, uh... Yeah, let's turn off the switch. The lights are off again, so people are gonna freak out. But... We can now get over to these. um... I guess you can call it the second level of the minigame. This guy's gonna be in our way, so we have to do it anyway. Or we climb up that first pipe, and either go through the minigame again, or up the second pipe and just turn the lights on. Because, well, he's not blocking the switch on that side of that one tank, so... Well, there you go. So, let's cross this, uh, water for another hand game. Let's see. It's Penelope. Yeah, there we go. Controls. Now, this is... An interesting minigame. It's a kind of a platformer in a sense. Basically, these uh, panels will slide around, and you have to uh, get onto them while they're moving. Oh crap, I shouldn't have gotten on. Damn it. Okay, yeah, let's uh, try that again. Ah, this thing's fast. So, this one's a safe one. It'll spin, but that doesn't really mean anything. Just get on the panels and you'll be fine. And I won't take a risk with that one panel. Oh great, I'm gonna have to wait a while before this can resync. Great. Okay, there we go. And there's other panels if you really care. I don't. Let's just get out of here. There you go. It's not that bad, but... You basically just push in the direction of the panel when they're pretty okay lined up. They don't have to be perfectly lined up to get over, but there can't be any space in between them. If there's even a little bit of water between the panels, you'll fall in. So, there you go. Not a hard game. Just don't screw up. Oh, you know, I think there's also a pair of things we can drop down as well here. Alright, there we go. Drop on down. Get some sunflower seeds. Not that we need them anymore. And only two. Alright, let's just make sure this is uh, not another sticker over to the left here. Yeah, there's a two here, remember? So, climb this 
one, and see if there's enough sticker down here. And we've got more sunflower seeds of minimal value. And we have to do the dance every time, of course. We have to do it every time. And I don't think there's anything else here, but let's talk to this guy. And he's decided we're going to leave the pipe connected. So we can't do that minigame ever again. And there's nothing special for going back over here. Nope, not at all. Still a wall. Still some sort of invisible wall. That or we're climbing up and down a pipe from the side. So now let's just uh, climb over here. And... So there are seeds over there to the left, and we can climb up to them now, but, well, we don't really need seeds anymore at this point. I'm pretty sure we don't need them anymore, and if we do, we got like 200 of them. So now let's climb on up. And everyone has to climb up individually. And if we talk to Seymour, we can invite him as well. So, hand out an invitation, and no prerequisites required, he just comes along. And there's just one more character we can uh, recruit while we're here, which is this guy, Tux. Yeah, so, um, oh, right, he's the only one who knows about the floor. Uh, well, what are we going to do about that? Seriously, I wish I knew what these balloons in the middle of the place meant. To me, they're like some uh, obscure mystery I can't solve. I wish I could grab the balloons, at least. It'd make it kind of funny if I just dangled there from a balloon. Sure, this is a straight path. Alright, so, we're gonna have to find someone that help with the floor. Um, so, what's up? Uh, you're in trouble? Why? They're gonna fall. What? Uh-oh. We better help. Let's go. Uh, we just need to climb down this uh, ramp and we'll find them. So there's one. And there's Hamtaro to the rescue. Climb up! It's your only hope! Alright, so, there you go, we saved one. And there's more off to the other side. And this is a wall. Thank you for making the wall so obvious, game. And there's another one over here on the other side. And this time it's actually a mini-game! He's way far down there, there's no way we can just do a little climb hang from that. So, we're actually going to have to jump on down. If anyone takes so long running around, we'd see that Pashmina is who we need to use. So, this is exactly like Hamtaro's game on uh, Sunny Coast. No, Sunny Peaks, sorry. Basically, when you pass over the child, you press the A button. And it's just like that. Nothing too hard. Not at all. And we get a Tommy T sticker as well. Nice. That's really nice, since there's not really that many minigames left here. And there he goes, off to his mother. So, now that we've saved the children, what will we get? Alright, so, they get, we get thanks, and we get a giant sticker too! So, is there any way we can recruit Tux? Is there anyone we know who could possibly help us with his, uh, floor problem? See the solution next time on Let's Play Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue. This is Solomon, signing off. Have a good day.